iPhone 5 iOS 10.3 public beta 7 review coming up right now. Let's go. What is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, help you to master your technology and welcome to the Apple iPhone 5 iOS 10.3 public beta 7 review. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I did the 5S, the SE, I haven't done the 6S Plus or the 7 Plus just yet or the iPhone 6. Let me know if you guys want to see any of those devices, but I am going to keep covering the 5 and the 5S, the 6, the SE, the phones, as long as they are supported. So, what does this bring? Not too much visual changes, but you can see this is a change here. So, with the passcode, you are going to get these new bubble icons before they were just dashes, but we're not going to add a passcode here. Let me go ahead and don't add passcode, and let's just hit continue here. And let's hit agree here. Let's just hit agree to the terms and conditions. Let's hit continue. Let's hit don't share. And it says welcome to iPhone. So now we should be in iOS 10.3 public beta 7. So if I go into settings here and I go into general and I go into software update, you can see your software is up to date, iOS 10.3 for the iPhone 5. So what does iOS 10.3 bring to your iPhone 5? Well, it doesn't bring any visual changes. So if you're on iOS 10.2.1, iOS 10, you're not gonna see any visual changes throughout the operating system. It is about the same all the way around the board. So no visual changes, which I know a lot of us wanna see, but we might just have to wait until iOS 11 for that but some of the top features in this operating system is find my airpods uh, apple id profiles the floating ipad keyboard but you don't get that here because this is not an ipad also you do get some icloud storage enhancements a new file system better encryption and weather and maps data but there's not too much features here the biggest one being the find my airpod feature as well as the apple's file system now i did the public beta without doing a backup here and i didn't lose any of my files there's been a lot of talk about you're gonna lose your files if you do these beta updates or even the official that should be releasing soon, which we will cover on the channel. But I didn't see any loss of data here, but I would still not recommend you go ahead and do this without a backup. But if you do, it's not on me, I, I warned you guys. So let's go over here and X everything out and let's just see how the performance is on the iPhone 5 in iOS 10.3 public beta 7 if you were thinking about going ahead and doing this update. So let's just hop in between some applications here. And you can see the iPhone 5 still a little bit slow there on third party applications. It's not the fastest, but system apps you can see run pretty flawless here. No choking here on any of the applications. You could fire off the camera here. Let's take a pic quick picture here. Let's take a quick picture there. You can focus in there, take a snap, go up here. A little bit of a hang there on the control center as you've seen right there. A little bit of a hang, so slight slight delay in frame rates there, but not the biggest deal in the world. Going through the notifications tray, not an issue there. So let's try some more third-party applications here. So let's go into YouTube, and you can see not an issue there. Let's go into Amazon here, and still waiting. There we go. We should be in Amazon just a second, not bad. What about multitasking? Do we find any hangs here? So there was a little glitch there, but I'm not sure if that was a glitch. That just looked like I didn't tap it right or something. So generally the software performance is about the same as what you had on iOS 10.2.1. So if you guys did wanna go ahead and do the beta seven update for your iPhone 5, go ahead and do it. I recommend you guys do it. If you're into this whole being on the latest and greatest, you'll go right into the official software once it's ready for release. And I think this is the last beta seven or the beta for iOS 10.3 but don't go ahead and quote me on that this just is probably the last one they don't usually go past seven or eight betas so you can see not a big deal there so if you're looking forward to ios 10.3 honestly you can go ahead and update it if you like recommend it if you're into that thing but if you want better battery life i will wait till the official because battery life hasn't been too great here on the betas so that's pretty much going to wrap it up here of this quick short review of the iPhone 5 iOS 10.3 beta 7. I'm not going to go too far in depth in this video. There's no point because we're going to do more in-depth coverage of 10.3 when come the official release. But like I say, 
one more time, if you want to update this, go ahead and do a backup. I recommend it if you're into it, but if you want better battery life, just wait for the official. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button for me. Nick here helping to master your technology. I will catch you all in the next one. Be sure to be well and peace.